welcome to my channel DevOps Mela. So in this video tutorial, we'll talk about SonarQ and we'll integrate SonarQ with Azure DevOps. Okay. So this is a straightforward tutorial video, step-by-step -step tutorial video, wherein we'll set up SonarQ first, then we'll integrate SonarQ with Azure DevOps and we'll create a Maven build in Azure DevOps and we'll do the code analytics using SonarQ. Okay, so what are the prerequisite before we even uh, start with this? What are the prerequisite? So there are only two important prerequisite. You need to have a day AWS console login. Plus you should uh, you should have a Azure DevOps board login. Okay, so this is if you guys don't have it, it's free. You can go and sign sign up for AWS and Azure DevOps. Okay. What are the steps we're gonna follow? This could be a series, um, because it's a big video, big topic which I'm covering. So we could have multiple parts video. So what ex what what exactly steps we would be following? Firstly, we'll log into AWS. Second, we'll launch EC2 instance in AWS. So the reason of launching EC2 instance because I would be setting up and SonarQ on the cloud. Okay. Secondly, we'll install Docker container and set up Docker. So we'll have a sonar queue running in Docker. Okay. Then we'll set up sonar queue in Docker container. So these are the initial setup which we would be doing. Once this is done, we'll access SonarQ dashboard. And through SonarQ dashboard, we'll set up connection between Azure DevOps and SonarQ. So it's kind of a setup, it's wherein you need a primary token in those information. So we'll cover that. Okay. Once once the once that is done, we'll come back to Azure DevOps and over here we'll create a service connection. Creation so it's a connection between Azure DevOps and SonarQ. Over here, we gave we we gave the access to SonarQ dashboard to all to the specific project what we are looking. Then we'll create a service connection between DevOps, Azure DevOps, and and SonarQ. Okay. Last but not the least, we'll create a build pipeline maven to be very specific maven build pipeline and we'll integrate a demo java project in it then we'll run sonar scan on top of it and last will analyze the scan report on sonar to dashboard so this is what i am going to cover in this entire series so this these are the steps steps which will be following up so this is the only prerequisite which you would need just get an azure uh, DevOps login and sign up to AWS console. So this can be divided into multiple parts. In first part, we'll set up a EC2 instance. We'll install Docker container on top of it. Then inside Docker container, we'll set up a Sonar queue. We'll Sonar queue. Uh, we'll set up Sonar queue dashboard. Then we'll create a connection. That's more of giving access to uh, Sonar queue dashboard. So it's a Token, primary token, and those information is needed. We'll, I'll just walk you through on that. 
once that is done we will create a service we'll create a project in between on dashboard uh azure project creation once that is done we'll create a service connection between azure devops and solar queue then we'll create a build pipeline and we'll in integrate a demo java project java code i would say We'll run Sonarchy scan using the build pipeline. Once that is done, we'll, we'll analyze the scan report on Sonarchy dashboard. So, guys, uh, this is what you will see coming up next. So, please subscribe to your channel. And if you have any comments and if you like, dislike anything, please put it in the comment box so that even I am aware, like, what, what you guys are liking. Because I see number of views coming in, but I don't see subscribers. So please, 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 if you like my videos, please subscribe to my channel and wait for the second uh, for the first part wherein we'll set up our EC2 instance and in install Docker. Okay, thank you.